Number of COVID-19 cases this winter will far surpass last year's number in L.A. County. Health Director Barbara Ferrer says it could get ugly. These numbers make it crystal clear that we're headed into a very challenging time under the holiday. If our case numbers continue to increase at a rapid pace over this week and next, we could be looking at case numbers we have never seen before. Ferrer says the data show L.A. County could see 20,000 cases a day by the end of the year. Ferrer also says the number of hospitalizations and deaths remain flat, which she says could be a sign of the less severe effects of the Omicron variant. Steve Gregory, KFI News. She added that the increase marks one of the largest, steepest rises ever seen over the course of the pandemic. A lost and found cell phone helped a stranded hiker on Mount Baldy get to safety. Two hikers who fell 150 feet down the mountain near Ice House Canyon Saddle lost their phones on their way down. However, the area they fell happened to be where quite a few other hikers have fallen recently. Since Thursday of last week, we have had four separate hoist rescues up in the Mount Baldy area. Lieutenant Dan Putcher with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department Aviation Unit says the hikers found a phone lost by one of the previous rescuees and used it to call 911 with only 1% of battery left. One hiker was airlifted and taken to the hospital on Tuesday, and the other was able to hike out at the Cable Airport in Upland, like Trolley KFI News. That is a miracle. They found a cell phone that had 1% left on it. Unbelievable. Oh, and this next story is unbelievable but in a different way. Police have arrested a man suspected of fatally shooting a father of three in Covina. I don't know if you looked at any local news source last night, but there were just pictures of this man and his family, like their Christmas card photo up. It's heartbreaking. The dad and some of his neighbors tried to stop a guy who stole something from a car Tuesday night. The dad's sister says he was a great family man. A couple of days before Christmas. Are you kidding? All right, when we come back, we are going to dig into this new Pfizer antiviral pill, find out exactly how it works, and when will Americans be able to get their hands on it. All that's coming up in just a second. Nick Taliokini, happy Thursday. Thursday to you. Thank you. It's funny you say that because I was going to say, you're out tomorrow, I'm out tomorrow, Tyler's out tomorrow, Alice pulled down the fort with the crew, so yeah. Let's be honest, <laughs> Tyler's out already this morning. I don't know. I don't, I don't blame them. And if you look at the roadways, everybody else is out this morning because I got nothing for you. So, oh, that's uh, actually, by traffic, that's you know, that's it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, looking at the drive right now, Jen, on the northbound side of the Owen Uh Looks like you might encounter some minor problems uh, right around Century Boulevard. Uh, looks like it was overnight. Caltrans crews working in the area, but really not seeing too much of a delay left over for you there. Coming off the 91 westbound, it's make way to uh, our Caesar Boulevard. It looks like there may be a stall blocking lanes of that off-ramp as you come off the 91. Making your way onto Artesia Boulevard, um, just a smidgen of slowing for you. Getting onto Artesia Boulevard, coming off the 91 West End, so you tell them reaching, because it's a pretty chill and mellow morning to start things out for you. Okay, if I find this guy helps get there faster, I'm Nick Pauliotini. Anybody who is driving this morning, though, is saying thank you for this early Christmas gift. Absolutely. 506 on your wake-up call. Aaron Katursky, good morning to you. Wow, so we've got now our first antiviral pill approved by the FDA coming from oh, Pfizer. Tell me how it works. Well, the idea, Jen, is to keep people out of the hospital, right? So if, if this uh, pill, a uh, series of pills, is taken early, then Pfizer says it can do just that. It's remarkably effective. Uh, it was found to keep people from developing uh, a severe case from what may, might start as a mild case. And, and that's especially true if you're at high risk. So you're at high risk, you're of advanced age, or maybe you have a comorbidity, and even if you're vaccinated, you develop a, a, a mild case of, of coronavirus. If you, you are at risk of, of having that case transform into something worse, you take this pill right away, uh, and, and uh, over the course of five days, you take several pills twice a day. Pfizer says you will not go to the hospital and you will not die. Okay, who can get it? Do you have to have insurance to get it? Do you have to pay for it? How does all that work? Have they come at, up with the press? At the moment, at the moment, it will, there will be no out-of-pocket cost to the patient. Uh, the government has purchased 10 million courses of this Pfizer treatment. They're not all going to be available right away, though. Uh, there are you know, tens of thousands of doses now, uh, 265,000 available next month. So for the whole country, that's, that's not really a lot. But by the early part of 2022, Pfizer can ramp up production and, uh, and get these moving, you know, in a, in a much wider distribution scale. 
would, uh, could the government have purchased more, or can they purchase more, or is this maybe all the production that was available at the time? You know, they, they purchased 10 million portions, so, so they're coming, but uh, they just haven't all been made yet. Uh, and, and Pfizer says it'll be the early part of 2022 when they finally you know, get made and when they can all you know, get moving uh, you know, moving around the country. You know how, okay, so say I, all of a sudden I have mild symptoms and I decide I'm going to go get a test and I uh, go down to, you know, whatever, my local county center, get the test, I wait my couple of days, it comes back positive. Is, at, is, is it at that point that I can say, okay, I have a positive test, now I can go to my healthcare provider and get it, or you know what I mean? How does yeah. that process go? Yeah, the, um, you have to catch it early. If you wait too long, it's not going to be as effective. So the idea is, you know, we did a, 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 you know, a day or two of a positive test, um, and if you're at high risk, go to your doctor, uh, and then you can arrange to get this course of, of, of treatment. The, um, and then you take it, it's a, it's a, a five-day course, and it involves multiple pills uh, twice a day. So it's pretty, it may not, doesn't sound very pleasant, but, um, you know, at least it, it does do what it says it's going to do, and that is keep you out of the hospital. Exactly. I'd take five pills to stay out of the hospital. That sounds like a, a good, good plan for me. Uh, so before I let you go, what do the holidays look like around the Kaczynski family house? <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's, it's a variant and the skyrocketing case load around here. It's uh, going to be a very isolated time for the holiday weekend, but nonetheless, that's what I'm sure. Absolutely. Well, Aaron, have a great one. I'm actually off uh, after today, so I will talk to you when I come back on the 4th. Oh, wow. Great. So um, hopefully, you know, you'll, you'll be missing all the money. That's right. <laughs> I was thinking of the Dante Wright case and the Gordon Maxwell case, all of these different things, and I will be on a plane headed to my husband's family in Georgia. And, uh, yeah, just keep your fingers crossed for me. Uh, oh, my gosh. And, I mean, we are vaccinated, boosted, masked, the whole nine yards. We're ready to go. So, you know, it's like, hey, so. thank you so much. See you later, Aaron. You would go say happy new year, no. happy new year. You know, if, um, if we're like Aaron, I mean, I'm sure we're like everybody. You weigh the pros and cons of traveling right now, right? But, you know, my, we have family who's elderly and, you know, we don't know, uh, honestly, how much longer they're going to be around. And so we're, it's a gamble. But we also, it's one that we want to make sure that we take because we want a chance to see these people before something bad bit happens. Um, and so for those reasons, we're going. And, you know, but we, we do feel like we've taken the necessary precautions. We do feel like if we were to get it, hopefully, uh, you know, I mean, the Omicron variant is it's out there. It's not like, it's not like we're putting our heads in the sand like, oh, we're not going to get it. Um, but, you know, we just plan on doing everything we can, wearing masks, um, doing, you know, I think we have more hand sanitizer than we know what to do with. Um, so what do you do? Do you stop your life? We can't, you know? I mean, we, we made the decision, no, that we're going to go ahead and go and see their family. And, um, after that, you know, if we get it during our travels, okay, we get it. And then we... Pray to God that it's a mild case and that we can move on after that. But I, it, it's really hard, especially over the holidays when you didn't go last year to see everybody because, you you know, we're scared and all of that. And then, you know, the clock doesn't stop. Let's be honest. The clock on life doesn't stop. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, I know some people think we're crazy uh, for going still, but we, that's the, the gamble we've decided to take. So... Let's get back to some of these stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. All right, now check this out. The Omicron variant of COVID-19 is accounting for more than 90% of new COVID cases in some states. Early data suggests those infected with Omicron may get a less severe case. And Dr. Anthony Fauci says Omicron's high transmissibility and low impact could be beneficial. We could wind up with a virus that's pervasive that does not cause severity and that people will get enough of your response to that you would then wind up 
having a lesser degree of morbidity and mortality. And Fauci says that's conceivable, but nobody should count on it. My nephew broke my heart. He's gonna, he's gonna play football with me. He's gonna... Well, that's not the right. That, that's a different one. So, uh, we will we'll see. Um, is that possible? Is that possible that this virus then, because the Omicron variant is so bad, but it ends up taking over and being the prevalent one? Definitely possible. Many healthcare workers in the U.S. are burning out as the pandemic enters a new phase with the fast-spreading Omicron variant. When I speak with nurses across the country, they are totally exhausted, uh, both mentally and physically. Dr. Ernest Grant is president of the American Nurses Association. He says if nurses are lucky, they might get one day off a week. Grant says nurses are leaving the profession because they're overworked often doing six of more than 12 hours at a time. L.A. has filed a lawsuit against the owners of an apartment building in South L.A. over alleged gang violence. No family should be subjected to the violence that we allege has been plaguing this community. City Attorney Mike Fewer says there have been five documented shootings at the building in the last 11 months, and he suspects there may be even more unreported crimes. He says a family of gang members lived in the building. The lawsuit is calling on the owner to make security improvements. And after 22 years, tonight marks the final sporting event played at Staples Center. When the Lakers host the San Antonio Spurs Center Court, we'll have the Staples Center logo for the last time. This is before the building becomes the Crypto.com Arena on Christmas Day. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk with ABC's Excuse me, Jim Ryan, from July to uh, 2020 to July of this year, the U.S. population growth dipped to its lowest level since this country was founded. And honestly, you can't blame it all on the pandemic. So we'll talk with Jim about what we can blame it on in just a few minutes. Taking a look at that very calm drive out there. It's very nice. A good start to the holiday, Nick Saliotini. Boy, that's very much the case, Jen. A uh, smidgen is flowing in. A little bit of an issue for you in the Porter Ranch area. On the 118 eastbound, you do have a temporary club, well, temporarily all lanes of block for you. 118 eastbound at Tampa Avenue. It looks like you're, you're the uh, Caltrans crew, the NCSC are on the scene, getting something off the right shoulder. So just a smidgen is flowing for you there. Also seeing a few delays on the southbound side of the 110. As you make way from Avenue 43 toward the Fine in the Lincoln Heights and Lincoln Park area. Got an update of what's causing the delays. Town 250 on your cell phone, keyword, hit by traffic. Westbound side of the 10, the same Virginia Freeway, same story as you're making your way out of the Alhambra area so, uh, toward Boyle Heights. Just this mission is going for you as you're making your way right around the uh, 710. KFI in the sky helps get to there faster. I'm Nick Colley Every year, our team provides food and toys for less fortunate families. Hello, my name is John Aquian, owner of Ruder Hero Plumbing. I remember one Christmas when my dad didn't have any work, and we didn't have any money. I can still recall the look of shame on his face when my brother and I only had one present to open. I was a brat and said something I shouldn't have. To this day, I am still sorry for what I said to my dad. I was selfish and I wish I could take it all back. So I know what it's like for some family. At Ruder Hill Plumbing, we want to make Christmas special. So all this month, we are donating a portion of every plumbing and brain cleaning service we do to families in need. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from our family to yours. Thank you. This report is sponsored by Audible. Audible is the first place to listen for everything you're into, from comedy and motivation to popular content and best-selling audiobooks. Right now, take advantage of a special holiday offer and save 60% on your first three months. Look more and sign up at audible.com. Hi, this is Dan Patrick, and here's what's trending for the iHeart Sports Network presented by Mercedes-Benz. The end of an era is here. The later of the Spurs tonight for their final game at the Staples Center. Starting Christmas Day, it'll be known as Crypto.com Arena. The Chargers are well represented in the Pro Bowl with six selections, and COVID-19 has made its way into the College Bowl season. Texas A&M opted out of the Gator Bowl over COVID-19 issues. Rutgers is expected to fill in to play Wake Forest. I'm Missy Jordan. The so good thing comes to those who wait. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz SUV family proves otherwise. It takes no time at all to set up a test drive at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Learn more at MVUSA.
1982, Melissa Tate identifies Rodney Lincoln as her mother's killer. Then in 2015, Melissa says Rodney didn't do it. On the Real Killer podcast, Leah Rothman reveals what may be a miscarriage of justice. It was one of the most brutal crimes in St. Louis history. A single mother murdered, her two young daughters barely survived the attack. I'm on a mission to find the real killer. Listen to The Real Killer on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. San Manuel Casino is changing its name and changing the game. San Manuel Casino is now Yamaba Resort and Casino at San Manuel. With two new casino floors, now with over 6,500 slots, the most in the West. A new high limit room for five elevated gaming experiences, new luxury retail shops, restaurants and bars, and even more thrills to come. Experience a level of thrill that California has never seen before. San Manuel Casino is now Yamaba Resort and Casino at San Manuel. Details at Yamaba.com must be 21. Please gamble responsibly. Wealth isn't simply about money. It's more than just the numbers in your portfolio or your bank account. Wealth is all the everyday things that money enables you to do, the goals you're after, the things you want to accomplish, and the life you want to lead. So how do you get there? Starting the weekend of January 1st, listen to Everyday Wealth with Soledad O'Brien and Gene Chatsky, presented by Edelman Financial Engines. Each week, award-winning journalist Soledad O'Brien and personal finance expert Gene Chatsky will explore how our financial decisions shape our everyday lives. They'll be joined by Edelman Financial Engine's wealth planners and other guests to demystify challenges like tax-efficient investing, retirement planning, and more. They'll share knowledge and tools to manage your finances today and build wealth for tomorrow. Join the conversation. Everyday Wealth airs each weekend and will be available on major podcast platforms. For airtime, visit everydaywealth.com. You may be into punk rock, soft rock, or classic rock, R&B, hip-hop, or house, country, techno, or techno country. But no matter what kind of music you listen to, here's something else you should hear. Please consider getting vaccinated. Talk to your pharmacist today about Community COVID-19 vaccine mRNA. This message brought to you by BioNTech and Pfizer. We're planning a trip to Spain later this year. But Spanish is it's pretty bad. So we're using Babbel. Babbel's conversation-based method teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive bite-sized lessons, you'll remember what you learned. There's no easier way to learn another language. Ahora hablamos español. He just said, now we speak Spanish. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. If to get into a football game in the year 2029, I have to show my 12th COVID vaccine proof. That's where we're headed, because here is Omicron. And then who's next? Pie is next, right? I don't think I could be afraid of pie. Oh, apple or cherry? Yeah, it does. This sounds kind of John and Ken. Weekdays at two. I've been infected by on KFI. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town, and I can't wait till he gets here. He's KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Do you have an adult in your life who thinks of Christmas like a kid, like I do? Please tell me you do. Please tell me Scott's not alone. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee and some of the stories we're watching in the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Forecasters say rain will continue today as it threatens to dampen the Christmas holiday. It is also likely to bring snow to the mountains. The National Weather Service says the rain will be on and off and possibly heavy at times through the holiday weekend. Crews have been busy rescuing people on Mount Baldy. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Lieutenant, his name is Dan Fucher, uh, with the de department's aviation unit, says his team made four air rescues from the mountains over the last week. In fact, two hikers who fell Tuesday used a lost cell phone from someone who had been rescued days before that only had 1% of battery left on it to call 911. And they were rescued. And after 22 years, tonight marks the final sporting event played at Staples Center. After that, they will rip the Staples Center logo off the court, and it will become the Crypto.com Arena on Christmas Day. Right now, let's say good morning to ABC's Jim Ryan. So, Jim, immediately when I saw the headline that we have seen the U.S. population growth dip to its lowest level between July of 2020 
to July of this year, I thought, oh, well, um, uh, that's the pandemic. But it's not just the pandemic. I was shocked. No, you're right. I mean, there are, there are lots of things playing into this, but they all seem to be kind of rooted in the pandemic. Yes, the pandemic has killed hundreds of thousands of Americans. That's obviously cut into the growth of the country's population. But it also has affected immigration policy. Because of COVID-19 and the pandemic, our policy has been cut back. Immigration has been dramatically decreased. What's more, you have couples who are deciding, you know what? crazy state of the world around here, maybe we better hold off on having kids. And so in, in more than half the states in the country, you have a birth rate that's being outpaced by the death rate. More people are being born or, or are dying than are being born in more than half, in about two dozen states. So yeah, those things are kind of combining now to reduce the rate of growth. Yeah, we did add some 392,000 new people to the country over that period, July to July. That's a growth rate of 0.1 percent, lowest it's been since about uh, 1937. Is that immigration or people moving into the country? A lot of it is, yeah, and in places like Florida, where uh, where more, you know, the death rate outpaces the birth rate, but more people yes. move into the state from either elsewhere in the country or from other countries to help boost the population there. It came both through here in Texas, the, the birth rate outpaced the death rate, but we also have more people coming into the country. And I, I feel like we've talked about this before, that the U.S. had been experiencing a slow population growth, yeah. honestly, for the past few years, but it just kind of seems that the pandemic exacerbated, I guess, this trend. It's exactly right. The, the population growth has been slowing down really since about the 1970s. You know, at, at the, with the baby boom gen, you know, we, we had people, we had a population, it's why they call it a boom, it's like an, a population explosion in the 40s all the way up until the 1960s, then things started slowing down, and, but not since the 1930s, 80 years or so, have we had fewer than 1 million new uh, additions to the nation's population. And you know, in a way, if you had taken a preview of, us, of this, if we had looked into our U.S. population growth crystal ball, I think, remember when we all talked about, oh gosh, well, we're all going to be locked down, so there's going to be another baby boom, because mm -hmm. people won't have anything other to, to do than to uh, get to know each other again and again, I guess. And then, all of a sudden, that didn't happen. And I don't know, did we not like each other during the pandemic, or what? Yeah, you know, it could be that they did get to know each other, but they were careful that they didn't want to have any kids right now. So, right. maybe people were uh, were getting to know each other in a more cautious way. <laughs> I love us dancing around this. Jim, uh, I, I am off after uh, today, so I will talk to you after the new year. But I hope you have a wonderful wow. one. And thank you so much for all you do for Wake Up Call. Thanks a lot, Jen. Have a right. good, uh, good holiday. Thank you. We will. See you later. Sure. That is ABC's Jim Ryan. All right. <laughs> uh, you know what I always think of when I have to talk about, uh, you know, sex or whatever on the radio? is my parents could be listening. I'm 46 years old, and I still think, oh, my parents could be listening. Mm -hmm. I'd make sure I sound respectful. Lord, am I going to get over that? All right, have you heard of the wolf-sized dinosaur, the velociraptor relative that might have had claws and climbed a tree like a, like a raptor? I just read this story last night from CNET. And it's called the Vectoraptor, or Vectoraptor, Vectoraptor, Vectoraptor Green. Sounds like either a really good movie villain, the Vectoraptor Greeny, or it sounds like a vitamin I should take. But I guess it was a bird-like dinosaur about the size of a wolf that had these claws and serrated teeth, and they think that it used its talons and arms to climb trees, kind of like a leopard would. And... I guess uh, scientists in the UK are the ones who are looking at this thing. And they say it goes back to over 100 million years ago, and it's the older relative of the Velociraptor. Of course, which, when did we all learn about the Velociraptor? Jurassic Park, right? So these researchers deri uh, described this Vectoraptor yeah. on this... Is that right? Okay. Yeah. No, 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 it's the... It's the it's a relative of the Velociraptor. Velociraptor. No. Oh, well, oh, you're saying Velociraptor? Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> right. oh my God, I'm 
are we getting the tomato tomato argument on our last day? All of the following features are included. XM radio, XM now traffic with three months trial. Alright, this thing, this is the latest of the thing that you and I I don't know, and he's probably saying it right, I have no idea. So the Zesteraptor, they got this fossilized vertebrae in its hip part, and they say that this is the first time a large raptor has been found in the UK, and the Zesteraptor Greeny is named for a local fossil collector named Mick Green. See, this is what I'm telling you. Remember the guy yesterday who got Leonard the Comet named after him? And now Mick Green gets a, a dinosaur named after him. They say the animal would have roamed in a forest environment and was likely an effective predator. There you go. I like it. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> well, you know what just for that? I hope a vector after green makes his way into the studio this morning. So, uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, these uh, Apple AirTags, these new homing beacons, remember we've talked a lot about it and how people are using them for some of the follow home burglaries and things that we've seen in LA. Well now apparently this trend is expanding to stalk people and steal cars in other states. So police in Colorado, Georgia, Michigan, and Texas have reported the misuse of air tags. Misuse. If you're sticking it on somebody's car, that's more than misuse. The product's power is enhanced by the Apple network and more than a billion devices and its cloud computing services. So you stick this thing on somebody's car, somebody's got a fancy car in the parking lot, and you're Mr. Thief. And you're like, yeah, I'd, I'd like that car. You stick an Apple AirTag on it, you wait until that car goes to, you know, its house. They'll come for the night, sit in the driveway, and there you are. You have a very easy way to follow it. You go, you know where it parks, and you get it. So it's not just us anymore. Now this trend has spread. All right, when we come back, something that is always on my mind over the holidays is how the holidays are going to impact our pets. And it's interesting because Christmas kind of brings new hazards into the home that you're not even thinking about, right? Because maybe you've decorated the home and you've put all of the toxins that you, you know, have up high enough that you don't think your dog's attached to get them. Okay, that's one thing. But here's the deal. Now you've got friends and family coming into the house. And they're bringing you things. And it's not just food. Sometimes it's plants and other gifts. So we're going to talk with Michelle Sassy from Best Friends Animal Society in just a few minutes about how to make sure you keep your pets safe over the holidays. Right now, let's take another look at your drive with me. And you're going where, Nick? Uh, we're heading off to the East LA area. On the east side of the 60 before Downing Road, got a crash to the three left lane stretch down. That's going to be a busy one for you first thing. And if you come away from the split, what's the uh, sign? And you're on the east side of the 60. Got nothing on this problem or anything else going on you down. How's it going to be on your cell phone? Keep working safe by traffic. Also, seeing a few delays on the 10 and the east, it's going to be on the free road. As you come away from the still like Alameda, Olympic, heading toward the 60, so a little bit busy for your drive there. As you make it to Orange County, knock on wood, still looking good. And you will start seeing a few delays on the left hand side. The 91. The corona, nothing too crazy right home about, but definitely could be a little slow going for you. 91 westbound, so the 71 as you make way to the 241 toll road. Okay, if I'm the sky hope you get faster, I'm the calling your team. Your Range Honda Superstore has your roadmap for a super holiday upgrade during Happy Honda Day. Return your Honda lease to one of our five Honda Leaf Return Super Centers or swap your old ride for a brand new Honda. And with more vehicles arriving for the holidays, you'll get a super selection and a super experience. Every new Norm Reed Honda is backed by our exclusive price protection guarantee, which states if you can find the same new Honda for less within five days, Norm Reed will pay you the difference or buy your vehicle back. Discover the joy of the season and upgrade at Norm Reed Honda Superstore during Happy Honda Day. Visit our super award-winning Norm Reed Honda Superstore location in Huntington Beach, West Covina, the Irvine Auto Center, and the number one Honda store in the world in the Cerritos Auto Square. Plus, we're now open in Vista. Shop online at Norm Reed as for Global Honda, your vehicle sales 2020. Apparently Tyler's mom texted him. Yes, son, you are correct. Velociraptor. <laughs> I got an email from Jeff's father that says simply, Hey, it's uh, and then he put a dinosaur emoji in there. It's right, Jeff. <laughs> Have I said it wrong my whole life? 
fairly. Check out weather from KFI. Rain today with highs in the 60s, and basically we've got a chance of rain all the way through Sunday, and the temperatures are going to be cold. Handle will complain about this today, you mark my words. So temperatures are probably just going to be around 50 and dropping to the 30s and 40s overnight. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Oh, I'm Jennifer Jones. 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 Hello, and welcome to the podcast. I'm your host, Joe Piazza. Life is just too short to be listening to bad podcasts. Every week, we will bring you the latest, and dare I say, the greatest, in podcast delivery, as we chat with some of the smartest and most talented folks in the business. You can listen to the podcast on the IR Radio app, or wherever you get your podcasts. At Ralph, we know the holiday season is going to be special for everyone. So use the Ralph app to get personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. That way you'll get all the fresh holiday specialties you love at prices that are lower than low. Ralph, fresh for everyone. And now you'll find more ways to save on your favorite. When you download digital coupons, you can use up to five times in one transaction. Ralph, fresh for everyone. Fans of Blue Cross and Heart of America are helping schools across the country increase their access to healthy food. Learn more at Anthem.com slash CA slash Spark. Anthem Blue Cross is the trade name of Blue Cross of California. Hey, Telephone. Hello, Smart. The holidays are the most wonderful time of the year, but they can also be the most stressful. And with the threat of COVID-19 during the emotions are high and can be overwhelming. Cal Hope can help. With free emotional support for you and your loved ones this holiday season. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. Go forward with local and veteran-owned Zipper Celebrity. as well. Crews have been busy rescuing people on Mount Baldy. They've rescued four in the last week on the mountain. And check this one out. Two hikers who fell Tuesday used a lost cell phone from somebody who had to be rescued days before. The battery only was 1%. 1% life left on the battery on that phone of the other missing hikers that they found. And they were able to call for help, and so they were okay. And after 22 years, tonight marks the final sporting event played at Staples Center. After that, it becomes Crypto.com Arena on Christmas Day. Coming up in your Biz Bites, I'll tell you who is testing out a universal COVID-19 vaccine. Also, we've talked about the wine bottle shortage and Christmas tree candy and candy cane shortage. But I don't think we've talked about a pet food shortage, so we'll get into that one in a second. And also, a popular restaurant wants to save your soul and soothe it with some salty fries while you're flying. I'll explain what they're doing. But right now, speaking of pets, let's say good morning to Michelle Sassy with Best Friends Animal Society. Michelle, always great to talk to you. Hey, good morning. Happy holidays. You know, even more than Thanksgiving, which we often have to talk about at Thanksgiving, don't just give, you know, a turkey, whatever, big piece of turkey to your animals because it might have a bone in it or something like that. I feel like Christmas brings a whole lot more uh, hazard into the house than even Thanksgiving does. It really does because people don't tend to decorate for Thanksgiving, but of course with Christmas you have trees, you have purple, you have lights, you have candles, you have plants, you have all sorts of things that kind of take it into the really should it. All right, let's talk about now the tinsel. Let's start with that one because anybody who has an animal who has eaten something like tinsel knows oftentimes it gets uh, messy, shall we say, around the house, and uh, but it's just not good for them, period. 
It's really not. I, I, it's funny. I saw a meme the other day, and it said a dog owner's Christmas tree, and the top was decorated, and the bottom half was not. And I thought, you know, that's kind of a good idea. That's what we did, because we have the new big puppy, so we just decorated the top of the tree. Can't do it. Not. Oh, no, 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 not. Yeah, I do. I don't want to keep anything that could possibly um, be in their range to eat or play with. Yeah, 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 y